Hello. Welcome to Alming Owl Yoga. My name is Ruthie and the class that I recorded today is intended for someone who's never done yoga before. It's very simple. Um, we don't even leave the mat. Like there's no standing up. You just stay on the mat the whole time. So it's also very good for right before bed. Um, good for digestion. It's, it's just very simple. So it's meant to not be intimidating for someone who's never done yoga before. Um, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get started with today's practice. So we're going to begin in a seated position on your mat, however is comfortable for you. You can sit with your legs crossed, sit on your ankles, on a block, whatever feels right to you in this moment. And then just start by releasing any tension you may have brought with you to your mat today. Whether this is the beginning of your day or the end of your day. Just release any tension you may be holding on to. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Relax your jaw. And let your shoulders melt down away from your ears. Tuck your navel in toward your spine to ensure your lower back is straight. And feel your sit bones rooting down into the mat. Breathe. Take a big cleansing breath. Inhale for five. And exhale, release. And start to activate your ujjayi breath. You can do this by breathing as if you're fogging up a mirror with your mouth closed. You have a nice audible breath. And this is the breath that you can return to throughout your practice. If you find your mind wandering and you don't know what to think about, or if you have a dog who's barking and distracting you, just listen to your breath. Go right back to your breathing. Keeping your inhales and exhales even. And let's start to warm up the spine, taking big circles, moving to the right, shining your heart forward, and curling your heart back. You can move as slow or as quick as you'd like, whatever feels right to you. I'm feeling a little stiff this morning, so I'm going to move slow like you're moving through water. Inhaling when you come forward, and exhaling when you curl your spine. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and circle the other way, circling to your left. Same thing, inhaling, shining the heart forward, and exhaling, curling the spine back. Trying your best to keep your sit bones rooted so you're really moving just the spine. And noticing all the thoughts going through your head and not attaching to any of them as if their car is on a highway. Just watching them move. Knowing you can return to any thought at any time. But for now, just breathing and moving, staying present. Okay, when you feel nice and loose, we're going to go ahead and take some cat cows, seated cat cows. The same idea inhale, shine your heart forward, gather up all the air. And exhale, curl your spine back, bringing your navel to the back of your spine, tucking your chin, expelling all the air from you. And then inhale, gather the air, shine your heart. And exhale, curl and release. Take five more of those at your own pace. One. 
Right, and come back to your seat. And notice any changes in your mind, in your body. Feel a little bit more relaxed, maybe, or maybe not yet. On your next inhale, raise your arms up to the sky. Reach up. And then exhale, drop your left hand beside your left hip and curl over to the left side of your mat, bringing your right arm over your right ear. Making sure you're staying in line with your hips, your shoulders melting down away from your ear. And each inhale, your spine grows a little longer and each exhale, it curves a little deeper. You feel the line of energy from your right sit bone all the way through your right fingertips. Feel the right side body expanding. Inhale, arms reach up. And exhale, twist, curl to the other side. Same thing, root down through your left sit bone. Feel the line all the way through your left fingertips. Relaxing the left shoulder down and feeling the left side body open up with each exhale. Inhale, inhale, the spine grows a little taller and exhale curves a little deeper. Inhale, arms raise back up and exhale, hands to your knees. Bring your legs out in front of you so your ankles are in line with your hips. And root your hands down next to your sit bone so you come into an active seat, Dandasana. And flex your, your toes so they're pointing at your shins. And feel every muscle in you active. Your navel is tucked toward your spine. Your arms are rooting down to the ground and every muscle in your legs are active. Breathe. And release. And take the flesh of your sit bones and pull them back and start to hinge at your hips as far as you can go, coming into a forward fold. And if this is, if you, hear, if you feel your hamstrings talking to you right here, then this is the furthest you can go and you stay here until space opens up for you. <clears throat> Let gravity do the work. So each exhale, feel your hamstrings releasing bit by bit. Inhale, straighten out the spine, and exhale, hinge a bit more. Be patient with yourself. This is first thing in the morning for you. You're not going to be as flexible as you are at the end of your day. You give your body some time to warm up and release. Inhale, raise back up and scooch your seat forward closer to your ankles and hug your knees. <laughs> and straighten out the spine and slowly lower yourself down to lay on your back, keeping your abs active. Let your legs hang long. And inhale, pull your right knee into your chest. Squeeze it as tight as you can while keeping the left hip grounded, left and right hip grounded. And the left leg reaching long, shoulders on the ground. 
Breathe into the right hip. On your next exhale, bring your right knee over to the left side of your mat to a, a twist. And if this is as far, if you feel yourself, this is as far as you can twist and your legs up here, then stay here, stay at your limit. And <clears throat> if your right shoulder starts to pop up from the ground, make sure your right shoulder is down on the ground and leave your knee as far as it can twist. The goal is to keep both shoulders on the ground, keep your hips on the ground, while still having a twist. So feel the line of energy from your right shoulder through your right knee. And this is really great for digestion. So if you find yourself having trouble sleeping, due to active digestion or a stomach that's it's a little noisy. Doing this before you go to sleep can really help move things along. Then come back to center, hug the right knee in, and let it hang along next to your left leg. And just feel the difference in the sides of your body. And inhale, left knee hugs in. Same thing, pull it tight while leaving the rest of your body grounded onto the mat. And breathe into your left hip. Next exhale, bring your left knee across your body, coming into a twist on the other side, keeping your left shoulder grounded, feeling the line from your left shoulder through this left side body all the way to the left knee. Each exhale, releasing a little bit. back to center. Hug both knees in this time. And feel free to take any last movements, anything that's calling to you that feels good. You can come into happy baby if that feels nice on your hips. Grabbing the outside of each of your feet. Stretch out your hamstrings a little if that feels nice. Do whatever movements are calling to you. This is your time to release any tension anywhere in your body. And whenever you feel ready, make your way into your final Shavasana, your final resting pose. Pulling your shoulder blades back on the ground, letting your toes fall out to the sides of your mat, palms facing up and breathe and thank yourself for taking the time out of your day to do some self-care and self-reflection just quiet the noise of the busy world around us when we take this time to ourselves it helps us in all areas of life
can stay in Shavasana as long as you'd like. Whenever you're ready, and slowly come out and come to a seat. Bring your hands to heart center. Namaste. Thanks for watching. This is the first video in a beginner series that I'm starting and I will be posting new videos every Friday. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video.